Hey guys, SC Survival and Hunting here. Today we are going to be looking at the Leatherman Wave. Uh, so we pretty much took it out of the package and uh, this is what we got. We got the nice big instruction manual with uh, all of the, uh, almost all of the different kind of uh, Leathermans you can buy. Then you have all of the different uh, pieces that each Leatherman comes with. Then uh, you have the sheath of the Leatherman. Uh, it's nice, uh, pretty sturdy, ha has some little side pouches here. Uh, the only problem with it, I think it fell off. It's made in China. But thankfully, this Leatherman is made in America. So very high quality. Uh, it kind of locks into place. Has a, a ruler of uh, inches and uh, on the other side centimeters has obviously pliers and wire cutters. On this side it has a uh, large Phillips head. You can take it out and uh, switch it around for a flat head. Also it has a can opener on this side. And that is it for this side of the Leatherman Wave. Coming here to this side we have a, uh, I want to say this is a file I'm going to try to find it on here. It is a... It's a Phillips head. It's a flathead screwdriver. Uh, large screwdriver. I was reading it in the wrong language. Good job. Then, you also have a mini flathead and Phillips head. Really small for like uh, eyeglasses, specifically. Then, last but not least... Hold on. <coughs> You have your scissors. These are a great little pair of scissors. And notice how everything, whenever you pull it out, it locks. Yes, everything on here <coughs> locks into place. And so that is everything from the inside of this. Here, test the scissors real quick on this plate. Oh, okay. See if it'll work good. It's just a little quick paper plate. Yeah. And it cuts it very nicely. Good job. Good job, Leatherman. And now moving on <coughs> here to the uh, outside four blades. Well, so, uh, two of these are blades, two of these aren't. On this side right here, you have the blade locks into place. If you want to close this, you push on right here. Close it. You have, I don't want to get to that yet. You have a uh, nice diamond file. Really good for uh, wood, metal filing, depending on uh, what task you have to complete. Next, you have a small little saw. Uh, feeling this now, it's a little wobbly. Uh, it hasn't been like that before, so I will have to tighten that. Uh, but it's a nice little saw. Then next you have a little heavier <coughs> saw. This feels like it's nice and sturdy, has a real uh, sharp teeth and uh, serrated edges there. So it's very nice. Uh, so uh, that is everything from uh, just looking at it. Um, hopefully we can get our specs in a second. Alright, so the specs are, excuse me real quick, <clears throat> this is the specs are it has a is durable stainless steel construction of course it has stronger pliers with built-in cap crimper uh, let me try to find that it's cap. at the bottom the little groove uh, right there yes, under the blade the little groove right here under the uh, blade it has right larger 2.9 inch knives and longer wire cutters than previous wave models the interior tools and blades lock out for safe use. Yeah. So if you're cutting something, it doesn't come back on you and slice your finger off. It's lightweight at 8.5 ounces. So it's not heavy at all. You can stick it into any pack and it won't affect the weight at all. Folds up to just 4 inches long. So whenever it's folded up, it's just 4 inches long. Again, the knives are about 2 to 3 inches long each. The smaller ones on the inside are about an inch, inch and a half. It uh, has 17 tools in one. It's made in the USA. It has a 25-year warranty. So if you break it within the 25 years, call Leatherman, send it to them, they'll send you a new one. The Wave Multi-Tool comes with needle-nose pliers with built-in cap 
crimper, 2.9 inch 420 high carbon clip point knife, 2.9 inch 420 high carbon sheep's foot serrated knife, regular pliers, wire cutters, hard wire cutters, wire stripper, large screwdriver, uh, the smaller screwdriver, the scissors, the wood slash metal file, that's the diamond coated file, the couple saws, the bottle opener, the ruler in the Phillips and flat tip eyeglasses screwdriver, that's a teeny teeny tiny one, and that's a that's three sixteenths inch bit. So this thing has quite a lot of tools jam packed into it. It is a really nice tool, I really like it. It's about seventy to ninety dollars in that range depending on where you get it from. Cause because at Bass Pro Shops they sell it for ninety. At Academy they sell for about seventy-five. At <clears throat> Leatherman.com, I believe it's 85 or 90, something like that. This knife is great. And every now and again, you just need to tighten these screws right here. Because if they get loose, you're not, uh, they'll stop knobbling, getting wobbly, I mean. And they're just little star hex keys. And it's just real simple. Just take an Allen wrench and tighten it up. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. This is the Leatherman Wave. Do we have anything else to say about this knife? Uh, no, uh, it's a very good multi-tool. I would uh, highly suggest it. I'd give it a uh, four and a half out of five stars. Probably just for that little bit of wobbly. Yeah. Uh, and the thing with Leatherman, you can beat the crap out of it. This is a great quality knife. I personally have three. I have the Leatherman Fuse, the Leatherman Wave, and then what's the other one? I think it's the either kick. I think it's the kick. All right, guys, so, so thanks for watching. This is SC Survival. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.